students better understand their career choices. In addition to the manual objectives, Bo's personal objectives are to make people laugh and to have fun. So welcome Bo Safkin, the lion, and the monkeys. The lion and the, lion and the monkeys, Bo Safkin. Thank you very much. Now picture yourself. There is a lion strutting across dry grasslands. And this lion, he doesn't just strut, he owns those grasslands. And he knows it. But beside this, he always has one burning question all the time. How can I make things better? It drives him. It makes this lion want to make everything better. So what he does is, during his daily walk, he'll observe. And he looked at the forest one day and said, how can I make this better? Then he came to him, I will make the forest bigger. So what he did is he strode to the forest. He grabbed the trees with his hands. He pulled them like warm taffy to make them taller. Pulled them to make them wider. Pulled the branches down to make it easier for people to get whatever is on the tree. Tossed a couple bushes in there. Stepped back. And then said, I have made it better. And he kept rolling. And behind him, he kept hearing this chirping and then noise and all kinds of stuff. But he didn't care, because in his, uh, in his mind, he's on to the next goal. So the lion, again, stumbled upon another part of his realm, the river. He saw a couple animals here and there, some bathing, but thought, how could I make this better? I know. I'll make it bigger. So the lion took his paws, grabbed each side of the river, pulled them to make it wider, and created double the size of the river. Then he stepped back, thought about it, and said, I have made it bitter. Again, he rolled off, but then thought of all this commotion and noise behind him. But he didn't mind. He just kept going until down from the sky came the goddess of the grasslands, falling down a ray of light to him. And she asked, Lion, I have seen that you have done some good, but what drives you? The lion looked at her and said, to make things better. The goddess acknowledged, that is wonderful, thank you. But to help you on your task, I shall give you one companion. And here she is. And all of a sudden, from the, ground, from the sky, tumbled a small monkey right on the back of this lion. He had no idea what to do. He was running around, jumping, but that monkey kept grabbing tighter and tighter and tighter to the point where the lion said, well, meh. The next day, <laughs> the lion was doing his normal trek going through the grasslands, trying to find how to make things better, until he saw the, the forest again. He considered himself, and then he said, how can I make it better? Ah! Behind him, the monkey pulling on his ears, grasping him and telling him, how can we make it better? <laughs> <laughs> Lion, conceited as he can't grasp the monkey on his back, said, how can we make it better? And the monkey came up with the idea. We can add more banana trees and more mangoes. <laughs> lion, meh, why not? I'll try. Okay. So the lion went into the forest, started grabbing the trees out, pulling mango trees from the ground, pulling banana trees, and showering the whole forest in more fruit plants. So again, the lion said, I have made, ah, we have made it better. And he started to roll. But this time again, the monkey pulled on him and turned him around and said, now look at what you have done. All the chirping and the commotion was all the monkeys and the birds of the forest running into the forest to get the new fruit, to get the new items that he's added to the forest. And he saw such joy in their faces. Again, the lion didn't understand, but he knew something was better. He kept going. He, again, he found the river. And again considered, how can we make it better? 
So the lion, slowly looking, a couple times, and the monkey considered. I always like going and bathing and having a place that's nice and calm. So the lion took his paw, pulled the river up from the ground to make a small waterfall, then pulled a huge circle to grab and make a nice calm lake. Lion looked at it, looked at the monkey, looked at the monkey, looked at the monkey, and the monkey said, we have made it better. So the lion conceded and continued walking, again to be pulled by the ears, turned around to see the result. Monkeys streaming from all areas, rhinoceros jumping in the water, giraffes taking dips, even the monkeys tumbling off the waterfall into the water on top of each other and complaining and laughing. And the lion sat there, founded, and just started to cry. The monkey had no idea. She couldn't explain to him why, until down from the sky, again on the ray of light, strode the goddess of the grassland. She bestowed upon him the following. So, lion, I've seen that you have done more with the companion I gave you. What have you learned from this? The lion, still weeping in his mouth, couldn't understand and couldn't put the words until he mumbled out, you have made me better. Thank you. Mm -hmm.